What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the New Age Ballin and Dwallin. Their version of a Legend Scale Huffer and Pipes. And yes, I love saying Ballin and Dwallin. Their names are cute. The figures are cute, too. Um, but they're really good versions of these characters. They are slightly different, so let's just take a quick look around. We have the metallic blue for the windows, silver goldish silver paint for the grill and for the smokestacks. Just black plastic for the wheels. Uh, if you find that the wheels are coming undone, just make sure they're pegged into the top there. That'll kind of lock them in place. It does roll nicely. We can swap out these if you don't like the look of the hands for the smokestacks. You can just pull these off and it comes with these replacements. Pop that in and then plug that into there and that definitely looks more smokestackish comparatively and I don't know if there's a right and left Maybe there is let's see let's make sure yeah that seems like a better fit so I think there is a right and a left so just make sure you got the right one. It should have the, uh, obviously the circle on the front, but it should have the M on the outside of the smokestack. The M is for Mysterians, or the lines, I guess, not the M, but that looks pretty good. So we'll set the hands aside. And we also have the trailer pulling mode for this guy. So. If you come back to here and you pull out on these two tabs to separate the feet and separate the feet here, open up the foot, you're going to flip up this and flip that around. Same on this side, flip this out, flip up the tab, flip it around. And then before we put it back together, you can grab Prime's trailer and then tab these two pieces together. After you have this in, it's harder to do this later, so you kind of have to do this now, unfortunately. So make sure you get this tabbed in like that, get these wheels back up, and then plug these two tabs back in. And they are tight tabs, but they go in. And there you go, he can pull Prime's trailer, and it is pretty cool that they worked that out. Um, nice job on that. Now let's take a look at Dwolin or their version of pipes. You do have the M here for the Mysterians. That same silverish gold. On the front you have silver headlights. Translucent blue for the windows on this one. Here's the back. Uh, I believe this one can also haul the trailer. I'm not going to do it, but it looks like it's got the same setup. So if you wanted to, you could have him pull the trailer as well. And for quick size comparison, there they are next to the New Age Toy Deco Optimus Prime. And they fit in nicely. They are still mini bots, so they're small, but it still looks right with the trailer. So they really did this <laughs> well. They did a great job making it look like you can pull the trailer, but still a small mini bot here. All right, now let's get these guys transformed into robot mode. So let's start with this guy here. We can unpeg the arms from up here and just pull those down to the side. Unpeg the feet from here, which we did to get him into the Optimus trailer mode. Fold that down. You can unpeg the legs from each other. Come to the back here, lift up this wheel, rotate this in, and then close that back down. Same on this one, lift up this wheel, rotate it in, close it back down. And the legs are basically ready. You can open up these side panels here uh, let's so flip this all the way around and make up his upper body. Bring these up. We're going to rotate these arms to the outside. Same as this one. And get this down and peg those into the side of his torso. Bring this down. Bring the head down. And then we'll make the box here with his truck. Fold those in. Fold that down so it looks like that. Bring this up, bring this over, 
and this will sit on the top and peg into the sides here. Rotate the arm so you get the elbow joints forward. And then we're going to replace these hands, which are the smokestack hands, with the regular hands. Like I said, you could just use the hands as is if you wanted, but I think it it's nice that they included these so that you can swap them out for more vehicle accurate or, or robot mode accurate hands. All right. So there is Ballin. Let's move on to this guy, Dwallin. It is similar, but there's some changes. So I'm going to transform this one as well. So again, we can unpeg the legs from here, bring those down. We can unpeg the legs from each other. Lift up on this panel, rotate the wheel in, fold that back down. Same on this one. Then we will take this entire panel, fold out the arms. They were tucked in under here, by the way, the hands. So that's the difference, is this one, the hands tuck under this panel. So fold those out and lift this panel all the way out. Fold the head down. We're going to take this panel in the middle of his torso here, which is just this piece is going to rotate. You don't need to rotate anything else. So take this panel and rotate that all the way around, keeping the legs and the chest the same direction. And rotate these arms up until you get these panels rotated all the way around to the top. And then this part's a little bit tricky to get in, but this tabs on the side, you can see they have a kind of an L shape there. That's going to fit into a slot on the inside of this truck cab. So you're going to line that up. It's, you're kind of doing it blind a little bit and then you're going to push down and peg this chest in while you're doing that. Next we can take these hands and we're going to fold this down and fold it out. Same with this. We're going to fold this down and then fold it out. Alright, there are Ballin and Dwallin in their robot modes. But let's take a look at each one individually. So for Ballin We've got some nice metallic dark blue and light blue paint. This goldish silver paint for the arms. Orange paint on this part. The robot overall is very clean. There's no kibble. The box just forms perfectly over his head. The face has that same gold silver paint and then metallic blue for the eyes. Really good looking version of Huffer. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint. There is a cutout on the back of his neck. So the head can go all the way up. There's a little bit of a divot or an impression inside the box so his head can do that. Just enough space for it to go. You can rotate it. It's a little bit difficult to rotate it, but you can. Just just because the box is in the way. And you get a little side, side to side on that. Shoulders will go up on this hinge. There's also a hinge here. So combining the two, you can get it up to there. Rotation around on a hinge. You have a double jointed elbow. You can see the full bend. Since the wrists are on pegs, you get a rotation here at the wrist. Waist can rotate here. Legs will kick up to there, back to there, and the hip skirt moves with it. Out to the side on friction. Rotation at the thigh or on a mushroom peg. Double jointed knee gets you the full bend. And we have the ankle tilts. And he does come pretty much the same articulation as Dwallin. Slight differences, so I'll show them. This one has a cutout for the head, so the head can still go all the way back, but instead there's a hole, a cutout in the truck cab, so you can do that, and you can still rotate and go side to side. The shoulders on this one are on a ball joint instead of a hinge, so it gets up to there, rotates around. Slightly different articulation. The elbow is a single jointed elbow, gets you about nine, a little past 90 degrees. Uh, and then everything else is the same. You have the waist rotation and the legs and feet are identical. Uh, but you do they have a difference in the upper body. So I like that they made it slightly different. As far as accessories, we do get a few things here. We get, like I mentioned already, the hands here. So you can have him with the 
expressive hand. Now there's also these two fists. So I think if you want to have ball in with regular fists without these pieces on it, you can have that. I think that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, this one already has fists and that differentiates them. So I, I think that was unnecessary. But you do also get these expressive open hands. So if you want those, you can just plug those in. And they're on a hinge, so you get an extra joint for articulation. Oh, that's that's a weird joint. Weird pose, but you can do that. You do have to trans uh, switch them back for transformation, so you can't leave those alternate hands on, so just FYI. And we also get some weapons here, so let's take a look at those. We get this gun just done in gold. Same color as the hands, that'll fit in his hand. And we get his bigger gun done in gray paint. And you can put that in his hand as well. I do see a little slot here on the side, but don't see a way to combine the guns. Actually, let's see. Do these combine? No. Yeah, so I don't think they combine, but there is a little slot there. I'm not sure what it's for. But you can hold both guns. They're both good looking guns. And yeah, it just, it just works for the character. And for your size comparison, there's next to New Age Optimus Prime. And they are mini bots after all. They are pretty short, but um, makes sense since they're mini bots. So there you go. So final recommendations on the New Age Baldwin and Dwalin. They're really good. I like the transformation. The figures work both in vehicle mode and robot mode. It does a little gimmick with the Optimus Prime trailer. It does everything I needed to do for, you know, a version of Huffer and Pipes. They really do everything well. Now, there's nothing really exciting about these characters. You know, it doesn't really stand out. But I will say they're really good versions. I don't think anyone's going to make a better legend scale version of these two characters. So... Take that for what it is. But that's it for today. Thanks to Matt Parsformer for sending this review. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.